Hey guys, so today's video is going to be a review on the ever so popular Sedona Lace brushes. Now I know a ton of beauty vloggers talk about these brushes, but um, if you guys follow me for a while, you know I only give honest, honest reviews. I have no problem in kind of telling my exact opinion about a company. So I got these sent to me about two months ago or a month and a half ago, and I have been trying them out just to give you a complete honest opinion and I have a review on Coastal Sense brushes, which is like a lot of people tell me that they buy the brush set because of me it's the 22 piece brush set which I adore and I kind of did that review like vlog style so you guys could see the brushes up close so for example if I take this brush like my lighting sucks in my room as you all know and like you can't really see like how good quality it is from this angle so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna flip the camera I'm gonna show you each brush up close so this will be like an in-depth review of these brushes and is the vortex collection by Sedona Lace and I really do like that. This is my honest opinion as always. So if you guys want to see my honest opinion of these brushes, keep on watching and stay tuned to the end of this video for a giveaway. I am spreading them all out so I can kind of show you a lot better of a review, a lot closer and more in-depth detail of each brush. This was sent to me for a review but that does not change my opinion. I am not being forced to make this video. I just really have been absolutely loving these brushes. I think almost every girl that got them or bought them um, can see the same. So I hope you guys take my word on it. I'm going to talk about each brush now. So I'll talk about them in the order that they are posted in this little cute pamphlet that they sent to you. So if you guys want to see, I'll also list each brush name down below. So if you guys are only interested in my thoughts on a specific brush, just click like fast forward the video and like to each part. Um, this might be a long video. My Coastal Sense one is pretty long, but a lot of people love that video and said that I made them where I help them decide to purchase that. Also, don't mind my Santa background. Um, I'm gonna start off with the fan brush, which looks like this. It is by far the biggest fan brush that I've ever used. It is the FB01. This is the most dense, greatest fan brush that I've ever used in my life. Mind you, I have been using these for about three weeks now, maybe a month, and I've washed them a couple times. There has been absolutely no shedding, and if there was, it was very minimal, and they don't even really look dirty, but I swear I've been using them, and I wash them. It's just that, I don't know, they don't appear as dirty as my others, but also I guess I'm not really digging, the, dipping them into foundation or blush, really. Well, one of them I am, but anyway, so what I use this one for in particular is highlighting. Um, I put this right into my Max soft and gentle and just kind of highlight the tops of my cheekbones with it and it's a freaking amazing dense highlighter um, I'm gonna hold it like this just so you guys can see so that's what it looks like if you can see it's not like flimsy or like really skinny hairs it's actually pretty dense so you guys can see right there that's a lot of hair this is just the softest fan brush and the biggest that I've seen okay the next brush that I will talk about is the tulip contour and it is the FB03 and it looks like this now this brush, I have to be honest with you and say this is not my most reach for in this kit. However, I do really like it. I just find that for contouring, it's a little bit big. Here's my hand, here's the brush. So I don't really use it as a contouring brush, but then again, you don't have to use it for exactly what they say. I actually think it's quite fluffy. It's sort of dome shaped, if you can see, um, but I actually use this to kind of set my powder. I don't really use powder foundation, but I do use the Ben Nye Banana Powder. So I use this to set it like under my eyes and kind of on my entire face, because I used to only set that on my eyes and use a smaller brush, but now I have actually been setting it on my face, because I love that stuff I swear by it then we have the dome contour brush which is the FB05 I think it's perfect for applying blush I dip it right into my blushes and just put this on my um, cheeks and I did just wash this that's why there's no pink remains on it they're very easy to watch and I don't know if you could tell but there's like barely any shedding on this brush so this is definitely a go-to brush of mine for this kit the next one that I absolutely love is this um, FB07 and it is the flat top buffer face brush. Like, that's what it looks like. Um, I do have to say that I use this more for my cheekbones. I use this to contour, actually. So I feel like a lot of the brushes, it's kind of a more of like what you like to use personally. I know a lot of people would probably use this to apply foundation, but the only reason I don't is because I swear by the Beauty Blender and nothing will ever replace that for me when I apply my foundation. I am obsessed with that magic little pink Ball. Um, that's what I use to apply foundation. I'm sure you can use this, but it isn't super dense, so I really wouldn't pack on 
foundation with this. I do have the Sigma Flat Top Kabuki, and this is not like that. It may appear to look like that, but it is by no means like that. That is a lot more dense. This is a little bit, I don't want to say flimsy, but it, you can see what, whatever word I'm looking for. I don't know, but this is amazing for contouring. I dipped this into my um, Hula Bronzer by Benefit or my Ch Too Faced Chocolate Soleil, and then just put this right into the hollows of my cheeks, and it just it applies beautifully, and I love this brush. I definitely think that this is a must-have of this kit too. So these are two okay ones. Um, like it, uh, it's okay, and love, love. This one I have like a love-hate relationship with. This is the FB09. Love this brush because it does help blend. However, I do have to admit that in the next few brushes, you're going to see my favorite brush of this kit, and it, that just kind of outdoes this one by a uh, landslide. But this is really good. I actually use this to pack on color more than I do to blend. If you guys can see, it's somewhat flat. It's kind of fluffy, but not really that fluffy. It's just, I don't know how to explain it. It's so perfect for me, at least, for just packing on color or putting it in the crease and then blending out with something else. So this is definitely a great brush, but it's not the most, like the best one in this kit. Then I have, I would say, my least favorite brush, or actually it's not my least favorite, it's just my least used, and it is the Flat Synthetic. And the reason I don't use this as much is because I literally grab all the others in the kit first. And that's not to say I neglect this guy, however, I just don't apply much with this. This would be great for kind of spot treating with concealer or patting uh, concealer under your eyes, but lately I've just been wearing tinted moisturizer and not even that much concealer. So I haven't really had a huge use for this. This would be great to wet and pat on sparkles or glitter for a party or New Year's look. Then after that we have the Synthetic Blender which is the uh, EB13. This is my favorite brush in the whole wide world right now. I am obsessed with this brush. This is the, what is it called, EB13 and this brush is bomb. Like I can't even tell you how fluffy it is because it doesn't even, on camera, it doesn't look like super amazingly fluffy. It just looks like fluffy average, but let me just show you. Oh, that's not really working. You guys, this brush is my favorite. Like I, if I could pick one brush for the rest of my life to live with, it would be this. This blends out shadow so incredibly. I, I don't even, I can't even put into words. Like it's so soft and so fluffy and I have not owned the MAC 221 or two, whatever the number of the perfect MAC blending brush is, but my friend does and she tried this and was like, oh my God, I have to purchase that. It's better than my MAC one. Like it's just so super soft and incredible for blending. Like right now I'm going like this and it's so gentle. And when you blend a color out with this, it really makes a difference in the way your eyeshadow looks on your eyelid. Um, that's just my opinion. Like I said, again, go see for yourself. If you want to order any brushes from this set, I would bet $100. I would definitely say that this is the one that's most worth, most worth it. Then we have the pointed crease brush, which is the EB15. I definitely have smaller eyes and they are a little bit more hooded. So this is ideal for me and it is perfect for getting colors deep in the crease. If you guys can see, I feel like these brushes look a little bit bigger on camera. If you guys can see it is domed or pointed at the end here. Literally the little little bit of color can fit right in your crease and you can just blend it out like that. Like I said, it does not compare to this for blending purposes, but just to put in the crease and maybe move around and then blend it with this, this is ideal because nothing has quite a tip like this. Look at the difference between those tips. This is perfect for placing in the crease and then this one on the right is perfect for blending. So these two alone, I feel like you can create a gorgeous, gorgeous eye look with and you don't need any other brushes. Then we have the uh, Brow Spoolie Duo, which I feel like is crucial in any sort of brush kit. It is the EB17, and it is a very, very fine angled brush here. Camera, please focus. There you go. I usually like dampen it a little before I dip it into my brow color, but this is just perfect for applying any sort of color on your eyebrows. Um, this gel liner on your upper lash line. Side of here, you have a brow spoolie. It's just a great multi-purpose brush, and I definitely think it's not a must-have in the kit, but it makes the kit even that much better. Then we have the um, Bent Liner Brush, which I absolutely adore. I love this brush. The only use I can find for it is my gel liner, but I always wear gel liner on my upper lash line, even more than I do on my waterline. Well, I don't use gel on my waterline, but I just use regular pencil, but I love gel liner. Um, it's just like my go-to must-have makeup 
essential, I guess. And this brush is awesome. It kind of looks like a paintbrush, like a painter would use the ones with the tips like this. Anyway, it comes with this little plastic, now I lost it, this plastic cover like this. And you just put that, I guess, for safekeeping. And the reason I love this is because it really is truly just so easy to draw liquid. Well, you can't really see, but this is my gel liner that I have on here. Obviously, it's old. It just makes such a smooth, clean line and so straight. It makes applying liner on the upper lash line so much easier. And if you haven't tried a bent brush like this, you really need to. I was a little intimidated at first, and I'm not sure why, because it's just a bented brush. It's not something super scary. But I was kind of like, I don't know if I really want that, but I'm so happy this one's in this kit because this is my favorite one. If you are just interested in trying a bent liner brush and not this entire kit, go for the e.l.f. liner one. It's pretty much the same. Okay, next we have the detailed shader brush. This for me is perfect for just applying right into the outer V of my eye or on the lid. So you can pack on colors on the lid, but I tend to do that with this one, the EB09 brush. And then I use this mainly for getting color directly into the outer V of my eye. This is such a great brush for that because it's so, so tiny. If you guys can see, it's like barely, well, it's not barely visible. That's a little exaggerated, but um, it's clearly very visible. But um, it's just perfect. Like it's so small and you can, it looks like a flat shader brush. Like it kind of looks like the elf one from far away, but it's a little bit more dense than the elf one. So it's perfect for placing a little bit of color in the outer V of the eye. That's really what I use this the most for. Next is the angled detail brush, which is the EB23. This is another brush that you can use for winged liner and it just looks like this. I actually do prefer this one for my winged liner compared to the other side of this because it's just a little bit smaller and doesn't pick up as much color. This is really thin and dense and perfect for applying that just straight, straight winged liner look. It is perfect for eyeliner and it is great for your eyebrows if you need a brush for that. And then last but not least, we have the capped lip brush which looks like this. And again, this is the EB, oh my God, I should have cleaned it. Ew, look at my hands fail. This is the LB25. I'm sorry about all this pink. It actually has my nylon OCC lip tar. I'm obsessed with this color. So if you're interested, that's what it is. I should have cleaned it off before this, but I guess I travel with this in my purse, honestly, so much because it's perfect to apply the lip tars with. It's perfect to apply any sort of um, lipstick or gloss with. It's just so universally great for the lips that I love it. And you can't even tell it's a brush. You can just throw this into your uh, make a bag and this is definitely a little one but it's something that I feel like is great to invest in um, because honestly I don't know how else people put on the OCC lip tars this is the only way I actually put it put them on I have a few other lip brushes but they, they don't come with this cool cover so they get really messy I swear the inside of some of my handbags are like bright pink because of my lip tars those are all of the brushes from Sedona Lace. I really hope you guys enjoyed this video and found it helpful. Please thumbs up this video if you did find it helpful. And if you have any questions, as always, please leave them in the comments below and I will get back to you as soon as I can. Thanks, guys, and have a great day. Bye. Hey guys, so there are only a few rules to this giveaway and they are very simple. So the first rule is you have to be a subscriber to my channel, of course, as always. Second rule is you have to be 18 or older or, ha or have your parents' permission. Third rule is you can enter once a day for two weeks. I'll run this for about two weeks, and I'm not sure what day this will be up, but it'll be two weeks after. Fourth rule is that you have to give a thumbs up this video. And the fifth rule is just leave me a comment in the below bar. Again, you can only enter one time a day, and don't spam and don't write enter me. Just leave a comment in the below bar telling me your favorite brush brand. So whether it's like MAC or Sephora brand brushes or Sigma, whatever you like the best, just comment below because if I hear something maybe that I haven't tried, I'll like to try that out. So that's all you have to do to enter. And oh, this is international. So I'm super excited about that. I love when I'm able to do international giveaways because I know so many of my viewers do come from around the world. So that being said, um, I hope you like this review and good luck in the giveaway. Bye guys. <laughs>